All right, prosthetics is when someone loses something, we replace it, like this, all right? When I was four years old, I was in a lawnmower accident. I slid right under a riding mower. I was a little kid, and it ended up cutting my leg off. So I've had this my whole life, so it got me interested in doing it. I so, learn if you come across an animal that is in danger, always do the right thing. How long has she been here? I don't know. It's winter. I learned from Winter's story, um, that if if never give never give up and keep trying giving if it's hard you still have to try to work through it. I learned that there's a scientist who helped a little dolphin and made up the leg tail for he can swim and survive his life. So she was playing with it, got stuck around there. She got stuck. She tried to bite it and pull it off, then it got stuck in her mouth. Coming out and talking to the kids is one of the things that has truly shown me and everybody around how important this is on another level. Um, everybody comes up to it, it's great what you've done for this dolphin. If I could show you every day how many of my patients have been inspired by a dolphin. And you know, we work hard tirelessly to try to get them walking. All of a sudden they meet her and it's done what we could not do or in the area of inspiration. It's awesome. So we had to make that, and we're just trying to make it so it hold her from bet, keep her from bending. I learned that if I ever get a challenge at life, I will work hard to succeed. One time she kicked it off. All right, again she's in a tank like the size of the it's a big pool about the size of the thing you're sitting in. Well, and it's kind of exciting that that you actually get to see the real scientist and not just and not just the actor that played it. It's it's real exciting to see the real the real person and not part. just the actress. We had to add this part. We're like, okay, she's wearing the thing so good and it's actually working, it's keeping her straight. It's, it's awesome because, I mean, this is, it's been a huge project and it's taken, I mean, an unbelievable amount of time, but it's been a labor of love. I have two little ones and they love me. <laughs> that was my main, my main force of going into it. But it's just, when you see the kids and how they respond, you're like, okay, this, this is really neat, man. It's been all been worth it. So you guys saw the movie, right? Does this look like the tails in the movie? Yes! It's close. It was kind of cool to see and say thank you for everything he did for winter. But they look shiny for the camera. Being part of the movie is something I wouldn't want to do again, but it's been a great experience. I mean, it really has. And it's been an honor to have Morgan Freeman play you know, someone that I do what I did, basically. And I mean, it's really been a team effort, though. It hasn't been one person that's done this whole thing. I couldn't have done it by myself. You know, these got an aquarium. It was everybody worked together, which was really the ideal situation. I wish all healthcare could be like that because it was really everybody without any kind of side interest coming in together to solve a problem, and it was fantastic. <laughs> Just an amazing animal and friendly. It, it was like exciting because um, it's amazing that you see a guy that was on TV and famous for for, for saving a winter. So. Now, if you guys watch the news, there's a new dolphin named Hope. It was it was really cool. Like it was it's kind of like the real tail that they actually put on. It's kind of like the prosthetic leg. Yeah, how we shaved that back of that fluke. I actually have an artist graduated from the Ringling School of Art. He's my technician, and he actually helps me shape that into a pattern that looks pretty. The big message I try to get across to the kids yeah. is our couple. Is number one, if you want to do it, you can do it. The tools out there there you can do it. The other thing is, all the stuff you're doing in school, I mean, I remember being back in school, why the heck am I reading? Why am I doing these calculations? This project, we used all of those, and it is amazing. That's where I hope the kids can relate. Like, wow, I'm in art. I don't want to do anything else. And, but that had part in this, it's science. Why are we doing it? It makes a difference. You know, math, we'll never use this. You do. <laughs> I never thought I'd be doing this. You know, you asked me 10 years ago, I would laugh at you. So it was hopefully to get some, something from that. So it's actually, it's Winter has ended up helping us a thousand more times than we could help her. I, so like, i never seen like a scientist that, this good that can make a dolphin tail that therapy. good. And she, she's in with other dolphins, so they like to play and play rough. So we don't want her hitting another dolphin in the tail. 
awesome to know that so that playground. like a dolphin, the dolf, a dolphin has no tail for like almost a long time, and and it's still alive. It's like it's kind of really amazing that a dolphin well, I mean, just, so can stay involved. alive I mean, with you know, 15, no tail from that long. Everybody does their own thing. So yeah, and then the movie was a whole other animal. This, this is a lifelong passion of mine. I love. I love prosthetics. I mean, it's been part of my life, my whole life. But I love doing with the kids. All my, both my parents were teachers and my brother's a teacher, so it's just kind of a natural thing.